What happened to Nethaji after the INA trial? Where was he in disguise? What lies behind his sudden and mysterious disappearance? What was the opinion of his family members about his sudden disappearance? If you want to know about the answers of these questions, then please watch this video till end. INA brigades advanced with the Japanese army to the frontiers of India. The international flag was hoisted in Kohima in the year 1944, but the change of fortune in the Second World War and after the retreat and defeat of the Japanese army, the INA collapsed. In the history of Indian freedom struggle, the formation of INA was the dream of Netaji. INA officers in the first instance were convicted, but later the sentence was remitted and they were set free. But some INA officials were not set free, for which there was a strong public demonstrations and resentment were organized. Thaji Shubhash and the Bose mobilized the public sentiment in the support of INA and made elaborate arrangements for the foundation of the Azadhan government on 21st October 1943. The trial of INA officers in the historic Red Fort became a tribute to the martial courage of Indians, a symbol of a sense of total independence, a matter of more of pride than of justice. After the collapse of INA, Nethaji Shubhashchandra Bose was plunged into infinite mystery. What happened to him? Where was he? What lies behind his sudden and mysterious disappearance? These questions drive from all Indians till now. So far, there are solutions to the mystery of this question. Number one. In the official version, Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bose was reportedly killed in a following air crash in the year 1945 and his remains were later deposited at Renkoji Temple in Tokyo. Number 2. It has been realized that Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bose was in USSR after 1945 and was subsequently liquidated due to a conspiracy involving the Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin and Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Number 3. Netaji disguised himself as a holy man and returned India. There he came to be known as Gumnami Baba. Who lived in various parts of Uttar Pradesh, the mystery remains condensed in the 64 files, among which 47 were marked secret. Natalie's wife, Emily Bose, later brought out in 20th February 1953, add the mystery to a great extent and also kept in Netaji's archive in Kolkata Police Museum. What actually happened to Netaji is only a big sign of interrogation. The truth is that it is only God who knows what actually happened to our Netaji. Whatever it might be, we are always proud of him. Today also we can promise ourselves to find out the answers of these mysterious questions for our Netaji. If something has really changed your mind after watching this video, then don't forget to share it so that the ultimate truth be unfolded to the young generation like us.